Hey, it's Angela Hockman, your host of In the Kitchen on STL TV. On this show, we work to give you just a little glimpse into the amazing St. Louis food scene. So I had no choice but to bring on the toasted ravioli king of St. Louis. I just gave you that nickname, but he is the head chef and owner of STL Toasted over at the Foundry, the one and only Matthew Fuller. Matthew, how's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? I am awesome. I am so thrilled to have ravioli. You yes. are speaking to my Italian heart here. Yes. So I want to say put me to work when you're ready. But I what will. are we cooking today? We're going to make some buffalo chicken toasted ravioli. I'm sorry. Time out. Did you know that buffalo chicken and ravioli are two of my all-time favorite foods? I did not know that, but... We're going to get along yeah, real absolutely. well. Absolutely, yes. And this yes. isn't even like the craziest toasted ravioli on your menu, right? No, it really isn't. This is actually pretty basic con considering things that we've done in the past. But I would venture to say it is nothing but basic. It's Well, it's on the menu. It stays <laughs> on the menu for a reason. It's one of the best sellers. So. Okay. Yeah. So let's talk. Talk yeah. about a few of the other wild and adventurous toasted raviolis people can expect to find. Yeah, so we have, on our menu right now, we have original beef, three cheese, buffalo chicken. Those are kind of the staples that okay. always stay around. Um, our special uh, flavor we have right now is the jalapeno popper. Ooh. And that comes with a candied bacon on top if you want it. So it could be vegetarian or it could be, you know, a little little naughty and that comes with the lime ranch and it's delicious. And a big glass of water. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I don't know. <laughs> if you don't like spice, I guess so, yeah. Do you come up with all of these wild menu items? I come up with a fair bit, but we have a really great team. And okay. we kind of like, we're always throwing things back. Like the um, the jalapeno popper was actually one of our new hires. He was like, hey, have you guys tried jalapeno popper? And we looked at each other, let's do it. Let's and so me and my sous chef got together and just kind of started uh, you know, figuring out the flavor and it no turned out way. really great. I'm gonna start rolling out this pasta if you don't mind. Wait a minute. That's your pasta machine? That's my pasta machine. What am I doing at home? Hand cranking pasta. I know. It's a little loud, but. That it, my mind is blown, excuse me, but when you said I need to plug in my pasta machine, I'm right. like, I don't know what she's talking about. And this is the small one. We have a, a big one that's probably twice the size, oh twice God. the height for the actual shop because we're busting out like, you know, a thousand raviolis a day. I so. believe it, I believe it. So much, in fact, that you are outgrowing the foundry. We are, yes. And where are you opening next? We are, we have taken over a lease at Mama Toscano's Ravioli. It's on the hill. Yeah. Now it won't be called that, but um, we've taken over that building right next to Antonino's, um, oh, down the street from Joyce. Yeah. These guys are great. They're great. Um, so yeah, we are working on getting that up and running. We'll be producing out of there for the foundry. And then we're also going to um, probably open up for lunch out of there as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I assume it's going to have a giant kitchen where you can crank yeah. out all the rav that St. Louis wants. And then and people can come in, sit, hang, enjoy pasta yeah. and ravioli at shop. Isn't that nice? Just, yeah. yeah. This is it's so therapy like, It's therapeutic. It is, I'm just yeah. here watching it. I'm like, I know he's going to put me to work. Yeah, I, I will. I will. Yeah. Watch. We're just going to roll this out first. So this is called laminating. Get your dough nice and uh, square there. You can see that. Yep. Wow. So is toasted ravioli something you've always been passionate about? It is. Yeah. I assume uh, you're from St. Louis. I am. <laughs> I am. Yeah. You know, you grew up with it, right? Oh, but yeah. I had an idea probably, I don't know. 2014, 2015, and I was like, it would be cool if somebody had like a food truck and they just did all different types of toast. I was never gonna do it. Right, no. No, no. it was just an idea. Um, and then through some crazy life circumstances, that idea came to fruition 2022. Wow, so you are newish. Yes. Is this the first concept you've opened? Yeah, yeah, so I was actually a musician. No way. Yeah, I, I, I spent most of my life working as a musician. Um, pandemic year was the first year I had the whole year booked up doing shows. I was going to have... Really? Yeah, I was going to be traveling across the country to different casinos, playing with a solo artist at the time. Oh. And the pandemic hit, right? And so that all went away. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you know, it happens. Um, so I was doing some side jobs to kind of work. And one day I was driving home and passed out at the wheel. Just lost consciousness, completely wrecked my car, 
Luckily, it wasn't that bad, um, but I couldn't drive. Like, the doctors were like, we don't want you driving right now until we figure it out. Yeah, they never actually figured out what was going on, but... Um, well, I'm glad you're okay. You are here to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. All right, so we've got our, our dough rolled out there. Wow. And what are these cute little containers? I was yeah, like, first, is, are those for tiny eggs? Yeah, this, no. we put this on there, and that gives us a nice little... <gasps> dimple for stuffing the dough. You have figured this out, Matthew. Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. So, I'm gonna have you. Oh yeah. Scoop these. Put me to work. And just fill them like that. Oh, it's that easy? It's that easy. So I would like to ask you, why did you choose the foundry of all places to open up your first shop? We chose the foundry because, like I said, it was kind of new for us, right? Mm -hmm. um, and we were thinking maybe a food truck, maybe a, uh, a brick and mortar, but it seemed like a really good mixture between the two. Right. You know what I mean? And like got that built-in yeah, community. Yeah, right. So we we chose that, and it has a lot of diversity, a lot of yes. business owners around there that can help us if we run into any troubles or, you know what I mean? Like there's, yeah. there's new business owners. There's people who have been doing it for 10 years. There's, you know what I mean? A lot of different diversity and cultures in there, so it's really cool to... Um, to be a part of that. And you could literally take a trip around the globe and try every cuisine you want at the Foundry. Yeah. Okay, this is a perfect pausing point, Matthew. Yes. We are gonna take a very quick break. When we come back, we are gonna finish up this buffalo chicken ravioli and learn a little bit more about STL Toasted. So don't go anywhere, we will be right back after this. I've always been told I gotta be strong. Thick skin, tough as nails. But to be everything for everybody, it wears on you. Black don't crack, they say. But it can. We all can. Reach out to a friend if you see them going through it. No matter who you are, being vulnerable is what makes us whole. Learn how to help at SeizeTheAqua.org. Welcome back to In the Kitchen on STL TV. Now, when we left off, Chef Matthew from STL Toasted and I were making buffalo chicken ravioli. Okay, now what are you working on here? You're making it a little work of art. Yeah, we're cutting out the raviolis here. Okay. Wow, and you've got this in a much larger format to produce for Yeah, so houses. we'll... I've got one one mold here, but we, we do at least like 12 mold. We make like 144 ravs at a time. Oh my gosh. Per tray that we make. That's insane. Yeah. But they gotta give the people what they want, exactly. right? Exactly, so these just pop right out. Do you ever get sick of toasted ravioli? No. I didn't think so. No, not especially the way we do yes. it when we're changing it up, you know? How often does your menu change? Seasonally. We oh, Like okay. I said, we keep the staples on there, but like the desserts change seasonally, and we, anytime we get a little hankering for something new. And I love that you listen to your staff when he's like, hey, how about jalapeno yeah. popper? Let's do it. So wait, let's talk desserts because I have a serious sweet yeah. tooth. I have had the gooey butter ravioli, which is such a perfect fusion of St. Louis favorites. We pretty much always have a gooey butter ravioli on deck. Okay. Um, it's, it changes. We've, we've done lemon blackberry gooey butter Ooh. cake. We've done strawberry cream. We've done... Oh. Maple pecan gooey butter cake. You have key lime now, is that we true? We have a key lime cheesecake one. We've done yeah. an Oreo cheesecake one with like a espresso mascarpone on top. It's, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really good. You are definitely the most inventive place I've ever heard of with toasted ravioli. You know, I, I don't claim to be the best, but we are the most creative. Yeah, yeah <laughs> well, I'm just about to ask, it's St. Louis. You can get yeah. toasted ravioli almost anywhere, dare I say. Why should people run on down to STL Toasted? You know, we have a really, like I said, unique offering. Also, everything that we do is from scratch. We do all of our dough we make every day. Okay. We make our sauce every day. Um, our fillings are all from scratch. The dough that we use, we use a double zero caputo um, pasta flour, which comes from Italy, so it's actually imported. Like, no way. It's 
better, you know, it's better quality flour for you. You're not messing around. Like you get your family to send that. You're, you've got Sicilian family, is that yeah. right? I do, yes, yes. But um, so, no, we, we get it from a distributor, but okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so there's your toasted raviolis. So what you can, just, you dipped it in the egg wash. Egg wash. And then. Breadcrumbs. Super easy. And that's it. Seasoned breadcrumb, yep. Then Incredible. you just pop it right into the fryer. So how have you seen the community come together at the foundry? Because it is, it is such, just like a welcoming, fun place to be. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly what it is. You know, there's just, there's families, there's young couples, there's a lot of different types of people just coming around and, mm -hmm. you know, it's a big open area. There's the putt-putt place up there. Yes, there's the movie theater. Shack. You know, a lot of people have a lot of reasons to come up and hang out and just have a good time in Midtown. Absolutely. Yeah. So while that is frying, I just wanted to ask, is, is culinary something you grew up with? Is this part of your, your world? Like your I said, I was a musician, but um, food was always like my escape, like a creative escape if I needed one, or, you know, as working as a musician, you're always needing a side job, and that's normally a kitchen somewhere. Yes, so I yes. spent a lot of time I in kitchens. I've worked in many restaurants. It's, it's, it's a, definitely a big passion of mine, so mm -hmm. I have some that are finished right here. Okay, we'll jump into those in just a minute. Yeah. But yeah, it's definitely a big passion of mine. Um, food has always been just, you know, my wife doesn't cook any meals. I do all the, always have, I'll do all the cooking. I just, Perfect. I love it, yeah. Balance. Wow, so what are we adding on top here? That's some fresh, fresh. grated Parmesan. Oh my gosh, straight grate all of our, Yeah, we grate all of our Parmesan by hand. Cow. Fred cut, a lot of manual labor parsley. going yeah. on. You're rolling the pasta. Yeah, it is a lot. of People don't understand down. how much goes into toasted ravioli. You know, we're not machine made like a lot of the other places right. are. Um, it's a handmade product. We use the best quality ingredients we can get our hands on. What's and we love? try to be as creative as possible. Absolutely. So what's next on the horizon? Can you share anything upcoming? I know you've got the shop opening on Shop the on the hill. Um, yeah, we really want to, um, our, our main goal is to make toasted ravioli like a Philly cheesesteak. You think about Philly and like you want a cheesesteak, right? Yeah. But people outside of St. Louis don't seem to really know what toasted ravioli is. Yeah. We, we really want to make sure that somehow we can get that out there and, you know, really make it something that a staple of St. Louis that people know beyond these, you know, St. Louis City. You've definitely elevated it. Yeah. I want to say I, I've had a lot of a lot of T-Ravs in my day. I've never seen or heard of half of the ingredients that you have put in. Not only <laughs> these, I didn't think buffalo chicken ever goes in ravioli, but some of the other really wild things yeah. on, the, on your menu. Yeah. What's your favorite toasted ravioli? My favorite is actually the new jalapeno popper one with the candied bacon. It, it actually You should amazing. name it after the staff member at this point. <laughs> <laughs> the Sam Han. The Sam Han, yes. Yeah. I'm going to come in and get that. That sounds pretty insane. It's great. Um, but the dessert ones too. I mean, I mean, you gotta have the sweet and gotta savory. Gotta have the sweet. It also, yeah. just like gooey butter cake inside of a toasted ravioli. Like, is could you be any more Saint Louis? Saint Louis on like, a yeah. plate. Yes. Okay. Speaking of plate, I'm just gonna scoot this in yeah. front of me. Why don't we both have one? Okay. We've got some well, buffalo I blue so cheese. Hard. I yeah. don't even have flour on me. It I know, looks like I'm right. doing nothing. <laughs> We've got a buffalo blue cheese sauce here, Ooh. or a ranch sauce. Oh my you God. Can Why choose? Make your yeah. That's what I say. Let's get in there. Okay, just so I don't double dip. I think I'm. Uh, who try. cares? <laughs> Come on. I like that you're you're mm. kicking it up here with um, with a variety of sauces. Mm. Oh my gosh! Holy cow! Tell me that's not amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh! Mm. Mm. It's got a little kick to it too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got some buffalo in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also flavor some of our pasta dough, so the, wow. this pasta dough has a little bit of buffalo sauce in it. But that is so nice, so delicious, good. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you've just taken this to a whole other level. I'm just like letting it. Letting yeah. It yeah, it's got a little, it. got a little heat on the back just end. A there. Yeah. I'm not crying. You're no. crying. <laughs> wow, this is so good. Chef Matthew, I cannot thank you enough for bringing toasted ravioli, making it a staple here in yeah. St. Louis, really putting us on the map. They, well, it was already done before me. Like I said, we're, we may not be the best toasted ravioli, but we are the most creative and we're trying to get it out there. We're trying to get it out there, you know? 
We but, um, absolutely are. This yeah. is unbelievable. I appreciate you. Thank you for no, thank you for the doing. opportunity. Oh, we're thrilled. This is exactly what we want on the show. Yeah. St. Louis people passionate about it, passionate about the food, and just a unique twist on a St. Louis favorite. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say you nailed it. Thank you. Please consider STL Toasted for your next toasted ravioli adventure. We know, like I said, you can go a million places and get T-Rav. You're not finding anything like this. So run on down to the foundry. In time, you'll have to head over to the Hill, check out their wonderful new space. Keep an eye, I'd say, on their website. Yeah, social, social media. media. Yeah. Absolutely, Jinx. Um, <laughs> and check out when that opens, get down there also because they are doing it right. Check them out on social media as well. And while you're on social, make sure you find STL TV. Even better, if you are on Facebook, find in the kitchen and you'll probably see my face on there I apologize but if you're eating out at a great restaurant having a wonderful meal a great experience drop us a note on Facebook say hey they could be a good guest because we listen to you so this has been so much fun again this is the show that gives you the glimpse of the St. Louis food scene now our next episode is going to feature up late STL you will not want to miss what they've got cooking but in the meantime keep it locked right here where you get to experience St. Louis that's going to do it I've had a blast with you chef Matthew yes I'm Angela Hockman thanks for watching the show